The Ravens have one of the top organizations in the business, as you know, from the owner to the president to front office to the coach. The word panic normally wouldn't um, uh, come to mind, but how do they not uh, have a, a, a serious level of concern right now that the way that this team has been constituted and built is a problem for this team in 2020 and how to fix it for 2020 is a major Rubik's Cube to figure out. The the worst thing for them yesterday, in my opinion, I watched most of that game. The worst thing for them is that, you know, it was brought home on the non-tackle of A.J. Brown. And what was so incredible about that, four guys have a chance to tackle him. Hey, look, A.J. Brown is is 98% version of DK Metcalf. So it's not like he's easy to bring down. But you're the Baltimore Ravens. You were the big bad bullies, you know, of uh, of, of of the of the AFC. And you miss four tackles or four opportunities to tackle a receiver on at that moment the biggest play in the game. I look, I'd be a little worried about Lamar Jackson. I'd be worried about them offensively not being able to dictate their will uh, on an opponent the way they did so often last year. But, man, that was a worrisome thing to me when I saw that they didn't tackle A.J. Brown yesterday. So I think they got a lot to worry about. You can't really do much in a short week, Rich. I know. You know, they're they're 6-4, and four, and as you say, they have to win this because, look, they got Pittsburgh – and then the following Thursday, they've got Dallas, and then Cleveland. a sneaky, tough game at <laughs> Cleveland the following week. Monday night. So there is absolutely no guarantee that they're going to make the playoffs. Right now, if I looked at the three teams in the AFC that are better right now today in the wild card race, Vegas, definitely better. Tennessee, better. Miami, probably better Cleveland may be better so I mean they've got to find somebody who they can beat right now and especially Rich the one other thing they have a four and four conference record I mean they've got four conference losses if they lose to Pittsburgh they will they would lose a tiebreaker to almost every team in the AFC so, I mean, you know, that's why this game in Pittsburgh is so much more important than just getting back on the right track. Five conference losses. How do you win tiebreakers with five conference losses? Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.